Hi, I'm Allison Pryor and I teach acrylic paintings for the beginner step by step in real time so you can follow along with me. And today I have some great painting tips and tricks for you that uh, we can go over together and different tools that you can use. Some easy techniques for you to be able to start painting and doing all kinds of different uh, techniques that will help you make better paintings. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll get our paint. So what I'm going to do to get the sky, I'm going to dip into yellow with my one inch brush because I got a bigger canvas. You might only need a half inch brush or maybe a quarter inch. You know, you don't need, but judge it by, and it's a bristle brush. Just judge it by the size of your canvas. Let's put some yellow on there and we'll put the yellow on first and we'll just start adding colors after. So there's your yellow. Good. Nice. Now we want to work wet on wet because everything will blend so nice. Good. Just put your paint on there, your yellow. And this time what you're going to do is you're going to add a little bit of, let's try a little bit of red just to see on the corner of your brush anywhere at all, just not long as it's not too much. So if you use the corner of your brush you'll have a little control. So let's just add a little bit of red up here just to start and see how it's blending nicely because it's, it's all wet. If that yellow underneath was dry, then the red would just cover up the yellow. It wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be as pretty as it is. It would be just, it would just be red on top of the yellow. The yellow would be all gone. But now let's see how you can keep the yellow. Isn't that nice? Now, let's get some more yellow so you can keep your brush dirty if you want. And just get some more yellow. I'm just going to get some yellow. And you're going to need, if you got a 16 by 20 canvas, you're probably going to need a lot of paint. So get more yellow and come down underneath that. We're trying to work so it won't dry on us. See how that blended really nice right there? Isn't that pretty? So you may have to practice that. All you, you know, you don't really need to practice a lot maybe because you know why? All you need is to have your paint wet. And if your paint gives you a hard time, then you spray it. See, just get a little spray bottle and put some water in it and spray the canvas. Mist, I should say, mist it. Just don't miss it. Now, yellow. Okay, good. Look at that, how pretty that's coming out. Isn't that nice? Good. That little bit of red there on top made that so pretty, didn't it? Let's go with white this time. So I'm just getting some white. Okay, just some white. And let's go on the bottom so we can lighten up the bottom a bit more. And see how this blending in with the yellow really pretty? I never even cleaned my brush, okay? Same brush. Long strokes to blend it all together. One end to the other. Make it all blend so pretty. Now that's a nice little sky. See that? Just by keeping it wet on wet, you can add those colors and get away with it, okay? So let's go with that so far. And let's now, maybe we could start the uh, clouds. painting is all dry. Take a drawing of your eagle. Draw it out. You can either go on some free websites or some free sites that uh, let you... Um, use your picture, use their picture for commercial use or for, well this is only for your uh, personal use but um, just in case you want to show it off in an art gallery or something go to some of those free uh, domain sites and print off an eagle and then trace it out or you can certainly sit down for a couple hours and try to draw it it's only just a round as you can see the lines are very simple just a small round head and then you just come down like that so I mean I'm not going to do that today because I'm trying to teach you to paint so just tape that on when you get your drawing done on your paper and tape it on I showed you this in other videos before so you've probably seen this and then take some carbon paper and the carbon paper you can buy in the craft stores or some copy stores or you know any any store should have have this carbon paper and it's okay and then you draw it out so I just drew it out there so you wouldn't so it wouldn't have to waste your time so you put that underneath there and then you take a pen and you draw out the lines 
draw all the lines out that you need to paint. And then when you're finished doing that, and it's okay to have your lines there, yes, because we'll paint over those, so don't worry about that. So like I said, I'm going to do the tutorials as easy and simple as I can for you. Now what you can do next is take your fan brush and use the same color that you use for your sky. Just go into there and add some white to it to lighten it up because now we're going to do some background trees. So the background trees are those there in the back. So what you'll have to do there is just take your fan brush and hold it so that it's vertical and then start tapping. So you tap, tap, tap and just get your tops first. Get a top and when you get your tops, leave those but you can fill in the bottom part of the trees. And just tap along down here so we get some nice, get different heights and that's all you have to do. When you run out of paint, just get a little bit more because you don't want it too bright because it is in the background. Just tap, tap, tap. Good. And you can go over some of the ones that you have done just to get them more pronounced and more shapely. Just tap away. Good. Let's see how they're nice and faded out in the background. Isn't that pretty? So if you want to go over them a couple of times. When I did the painting, I went over my trees probably three or four times to get what I was looking for. So don't go thinking you tap, tap, tap a couple of times it's done. Go back over and tap on them again. Not too hard. Don't push too hard. And just tap on them till you get some nice trees. Good. And that's all you have to do for that part. See how easy that is? And we lighten those, some of those up now when we put the moon on there. Now, very good. There they are. See, that was done with a fan brush. So as long as you get your tops, it'll look like trees. Good. Hi guys, I'm Alice Pryor and I'm going to show you the supplies that you will need to paint along with me. So first of all, you're going to need some, um, some of these brushes here. They're bristle brushes. I got a two inch and I got a one inch and a quarter inch bristle brushes. So I have some of those on hand. Also, you can have some fan brushes. I like to use fan brushes in my paintings and you can have different sizes, a small one and some nice bigger ones. There we go. These are nice and this is sable and some are bristle. Most of them are sable. I like the soft ones. And you can have a smaller bristle brush. Smaller bristle brush. And you can also have um, palette knives in case we do some mountains. All right, they're always good to have on hand. None of these supplies are real expensive. And the filbert brushes are really nice. See the round top on it there? Good. And you can have liner brushes. Liner brushes are really nice for small details. See, I got small and I got large and a long one and different sizes, whatever you have on hand. And I like uh, sable brushes, the chiseled edge brushes, where um, I have one that's a, an angular brush and just a flat brush and a chiseled edge. And they're great for, for, for lines, making lines and all kinds of things. Also, I like to have, you're going to need some paints, of course. And you can use two paints if you want tube and or you can use I use the bottle paints I find them really good and I use the primary colors I always have the primary colors of red yellow and blue and green and brown and black and white and you can have all kinds of colors you want um, cad red cad yellow ultramarine blue and uh, sap green and burnt umber is most popular ones that uh, you see on the videos, uh, but if you have whatever you have on hand, you don't have to run out and buy a big pot of different color paints, you know, if you have them, it's great. Uh, you can also use, we need tape, we always, not always, but sometimes we will uh, tape off our horizon line. That's uh, painter's tape. And I like to have a misting bottle. And I like to have um, a nice sponge for foliage, my 
use that and some paper towels and some water with a jug of water for your paints and the supports that you can use to paint on um, it can be watercolor paper or it can be a canvas board nice uh, canvas board nice and hard <laughs>